Welcome to Electron Line. Here's another interesting structure for us to find the zero force members. Again, we use the rules as before. The rule that's probably most common is when we have a joint with three members. And if two of them are collinear, like we have in this case, and the third one is not, and there's no external force on that particular joint, we can then say that on this particular joint, this one must be a zero force member. We can do the same over here. Here we have a joint. Three members come together. Two of them are collinear. The third one is not. Therefore, this must be a zero force member. Coming over here to this side, notice that once this one is determined to be a zero force member, then we can look at this joint. This joint now effectively only has three members coming together because this one doesn't count anymore. These two are collinear, the third one is not, which means that this member cannot be considered to be a zero force member. Which means that looking at this joint right here, if this one is a zero force member, we can ignore it. We now have a situation with only with three members coming together to that joint. Two of them are collinear, the third one is not, which means that this must be a zero force member. Is there any others left? Well, again, if this one can be eliminated, then we can take a look at this joint right here. This one now acts as if it's a three-member joint. Two of them are collinear, the third one is not, which means that member is a zero force member. Since we've eliminated these two, now we can take a look at this joint. This joint now effectively only has three members, these two right here and the third one. These two are collinear, the third one is not, which means that this must also be a zero force member. We have now eliminated all of the members that are zero force members. All the other ones remain. We have this one right here. We have this one going straight across. We have the, the vertical here, the vertical there, and we have the ones on the top and the bottom. And those are the only ones you need. Oh, and one more. We have the vertical over here. Those are the ones you need to carry the load that is at the very tip here of that overall structure. But that's how you determine the zero force members by simply looking for joints where you have three members, no load on that particular joint, two are collinear, the third one can then be considered a zero force member. And that's how it's done.